Hold on, I have to burp. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> you burp in my ear! Please keep it in! And on that note, sexy, romantic, happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> you know how we do! All right, happy Valentine's Day, guys. On today's episode, we are gonna celebrate- Our favorite holiday. It is our favorite Valentine's holiday. Day. It's literally the only holiday we like. Yeah, because it's pink and red and hearts. And hearts and love. love and candy and, and chocolate. And love yourself and who can hate on love. Right. I mean, except when you're going through a breakup. That's true. But, but get a little no, but you could love yourself. Yeah. And you love could love girl. your friends. And that's what we're gonna get into on today's yes. episode. This episode is dedicated to the women who you knew you could be in a relationship, but you also need to take the time apart to be good to you. So we're gonna show you some of our favorite things that we like to do when we're taking care of us. I think that's the thing about Valentine's Day is that obviously we have made it as a society. It's a, it's a holiday about lovers, da, da, da. But actually to me, it's a holiday of just celebrating love. Even just loving on your homegirls, yeah. on your true loves, your kids. Yeah. My mom always made a big deal about it and not for my dad, because she really <laughs> liked it. <laughs> first things first, I don't know if y'all know this about Nat, but she used to throw these parties <laughs> okay. back in the day. Let the me... entrepreneur spirit has always been here. Yes. She's gonna tell you about what she used to do because it ties in to what <laughs> we're doing for this episode. I was basically slaying dildos and vibrators to um, housewives. <laughs> the company I worked for was called Passion Parties. I would have older women in their 60s, 70s, literally mm. asking me, what toy should I get? I've never had an orgasm. What? For a lot of people, it's like this secret, like you have like a secret drawer with a secret stash and, and it you throw these secret way. parties. And just an FYI, if you didn't know, the clitoris, its only purpose on your body is to give you an orgasm. No other reason. Get to it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're gonna take you to a sex shop so you'll feel more comfortable right. going in and treating yourself or getting something for you and your partner to like, you know, liven things up. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Put that away. It could be really intimidating, especially if you're new to exploring your sexuality and sex and experimenting with yourself or your partner. I think you might not even know where to begin. And I think a good place to start is maybe with something like super common, like a lube. You could start with something like a heating lube, a flavored lube. That's kind of I a think, safe. I think a really safe start is even an outfit. Like in every sex shop, you're gonna find like cute lingerie. Costumes. Like costumes, stuff that's like a little bit more, I feel like sexier than Victoria's Secret. True, a, a little more risque, like a little trashier. But it's all like super cute shit. Like girl, you could even wear some out to Salmon Jam. <laughs> <laughs> I think a very safe toy usually is like a bullet. It's something small, it's discreet, it's nothing crazy. It's not really intimidating. It's not intimidating, you don't really insert it anywhere. It's like a tiny little, like a lipstick sized, and it's just a little button. I'd say like that's the starter pack, like maybe outfit, bullet, a little lube. bit of lube. Cause you don't wanna um, and give, a camera. give yourself like a carpet burn. <laughs> <laughs> Mechanic burn. This is another episode. <laughs> I don't know about carpet. Wait, that, don't have the carpet. Don't have the carpet. The massage can really just adjust your life and kind of like your week, and it's just a nice thing to do for yourself mm -hmm. um, when you had a really stressful January. And a lot of times we hold stress in our in our body, even energetically or just tension. We went to Burke Williams, which is a chain. I think it might be like all across the country. The one we went to is a little bit expensive, but girl, treat yourself like you're worth it. All right, let's tell them where we're at. So we are, are we live? Yeah, we're not live. We're uh, making a video. Oh, for oh yes. my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we decided that we were gonna treat ourselves, so we came to the spa, to Burke Williams. I've actually never been to this spa, so I'm just hoping that I can keep my chonies on because the last thing anybody needs is my fupa flapping around. <laughs> we're gonna go inside, we're gonna sneak this phone in. Yes. Um, we're not supposed to talk while we're in there, or... See how that goes. So yeah, so look, we're gonna take you guys in right now. 
you go in, it's like hella tranquil. There's like candles burning everywhere. You get a robe. Then you go and you sit in the little jacuzzi and then you take a shower and everything smells like eucalyptus at Burke Williams. You have to just be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> and you know that is a challenge. An extreme challenge. <laughs> Even though it is fun to go yeah. with your homegirl, I think like when you're with your girl, like you're gonna wanna catch up on all the gossip. On You know what I mean? Like going through what's been going on with your life. You're gonna be laughing. People are gonna be giving you dirty looks. Like what happened to us? <laughs> You're gonna be trying to make videos. Be like, I'm mad at you. You're looking for the vodka. And they only have bananas <laughs> and tea. <laughs> Unless you smuggle it in. So another place that we went to um, was to visit our good friend Magda. And Magda is a spiritual advisor. We internalize so much, and there's so much going on yeah. in the world right now. You know um, that. Like shit can feel really heavy. Going to sit down with someone so centered and grounded like Magda just helps you kind of realign your focus. You know what I mean? And realign your energy. It's so helpful. It's especially when you're doing it every single day and you're incorporating it into your life. It truly does begin to like teach you how to let go of those things every day, little by little. So nothing ever feels so heavy all the time. Protection is a wall up, being conscious, my energy versus the outside energy, right? I don't want to absorb too much of that outside energy, but I need to be aware of my own energy and I need to be good. I always tell everybody, before you can fix the outside, come inside, do you first. So self-awareness, that's really where it starts. And if we're talking about basic protection, it's a muscle. There are stones, there are amulets, rosaries, there are little ritual techniques that you can do to restore and replenish, you know, your energy field. But first is going to be self-awareness and becoming accountable of your feelings of what you want, of what you need. And then coming outside and drawing those boundaries and those lines and using the other things that you feel connected to. Even a stone or a floral water that you may be connected to is because it makes you feel good or like a song that raises your vibration and changes your mood because it makes you feel good. A lot of the spiritual work is like daily work. It's right. not something you just go and see this person and then like don't do the work. Like they're the gonna work, get all that compiled back up on you. Yeah, like the daily work is really important and I think Magda is like, she's a coach yeah. in a lot of ways, you she's know what I mean? Coach. She's a um, and she's an expert. Most people won't do a reading first. I do a reading first because what if I hit you with some hierbas and you feel good for two days and in three or four days when you get upset again, now you're back to the exact same funk that you were before. I need to see what the problem is. That's what has made our relationship work so well is that like we kind of have that same belief system so even when we're fighting about like colorways of a new just, like, drop or something really dumb petty fights like old like, like at the end of the day like we know like what our, our what we believe our in. foundation yeah. is strong <laughs> and, and so i think it's a great treat for yourself mm -hmm. and i actually think that any of these things we mentioned um would be like a cool gift to give your homegirl uh, totally. you know what i mean take yeah. her to meet with a psychic or a spiritual advisor mm -hmm. or an intuitive counselor and no Y'all will be friends forever. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, hope you enjoy it with yourself, your homegirls, or that dude. If not, fuck him. We love you. Um, let us know in the comments below some of your favorite self-care rituals, some of your favorite sex toys. Put us up on game. Yeah. Even though she th swears she knows everything. But I think that, I mean, it's been a few years since you worked in that industry. Technology's mean, come a long doesn't way. Doesn't mean I've stopped going to sex shops. <laughs> All right, guys, let us know in the comments below. Mm -hmm.